Hi, I'm Matt and this is Not Enough Tech. Welcome back to my tiny office. The place might be small, but that means that everything is within the reach and I can actually grab my tools and I don't have to walk around the, all the hack space to find anything. Uh, but it will make do. Uh, we're gonna continue today with my NASPA. It's all ready in here on the desk, uh, ready to be glued in. So I'm gonna put some components and fix permanently and then figure out uh, which sides uh, need to be glued in because um, I'd like to keep the, um, well, allow myself to kind of open up the box again and uh, exchange interior components, so like USB hub or Raspberry Pi or SD card if it gets damaged or whatever. So I want to have that possibility to do it neatly without destroying the case. So I know some of the walls are going to be glued in, some of the walls just going to be placed in uh, on top and using uh, uh, you know, the, all the supporting features of the box I've designed. So yeah, let's, uh, let's start gluing stuff up, shall we? First step was to complete the internal structure, so I glued the back, uh, two sides, and the internal bottom uh, together. So it's unlikely I'm gonna be taking the support, and I can access the bolts because they are Allen keys uh, to unscrew the Raspberry Pi out and uh, pop out the card. The hub, the hub will go inside, based uh, um, sticked into uh, inside uh, using a three uh, M uh, tape, and it's gonna be placed on the side and then cable managed. So the cable would go to the back and connect to the drives. The cables are custom, I found them uh, on AliExpress. And they have to have a specific size and point uh, to the specific direction in order to fit and accommodate uh, for all the bends. So I'm gonna link the cables uh, uh, as well later on in the build so you would know which one I've used if you want to replicate the same process. Uh, yeah, but that, that's, that's it. Uh, once this is uh, done, I'm going to remove the Raspberry Pi and uh, solder in power cables uh, and to plug it into the uh, hub as well. Also now I can uh, freely um, stick the bottom of the uh, enclosure itself. So I did so now and I have to give it a few minutes to actually uh, allow the glue to settle and melt some acrylic and bond it nicely uh, before I can move to the next step. The next step involves gluing in the enclosures. Now, the enclosures are open, so they have a specific side they need to be mounted on. Uh, and one of these sides actually moves up and down, so you not you can't glue that in, otherwise you won't be able to open the enclosure again. And obviously that's not the point. So I'm going to glue, obviously, the static, point, the static side. Leave this one all uh, moving up and down, so I could close it, open and secure the disc. There's also a lock if you prefer to lock it. Uh, because the access to the box is going to be through the top of the box, you will be able to toggle it. So if you prefer oops, uh, so if you prefer your uh, enclosure to be securely locked, and uh, so no one would actually open it, you can just do so, and it will secure um, the hard drive inside. So I'm going to use this side, and I'm going to use the bottom side, uh, to fix it to the bottom part of the enclosure uh, to get that uh, fixed into place. I hope this plastic will stick uh, to acrylic. Uh, it's a solvent-based glue, so I don't expect problems, but you know, you never know. Now the outer sides, I uh, cannot glue them into the hard drive uh, because of obviously moving parts. However, the hard drive enclosure has a tiny lip at the top. 
from the outer side and I'm gonna try to put a little bit of glue so uh, it would give me extra stability on the top uh, without hindering the movement of the uh, bay itself. So uh, wish me luck and I'm just gonna glue that from the bottom uh, to the bottom of the case and uh, try to catch a little bit of glue on that ledge without uh, um, destroying the, the base operate, operation. I wanted to put the top cover in, even though it's not glued in, before the glue actually settles uh, to kind of make sure all the uh, angles are correct and the top um, cover uh, obviously fits well. Because once the glue settles and everything's bonded, it's going to be quite rigid and obviously any kind of deviations from the angles will cause the lid to, to kind of not... Um, I won't be able to put it in place. So putting a lid now, it kind of in, imposes some stresses on the joints and uh, place them in the correct position. So that's gonna be uh, drying up now. And uh, now I could glue the front in, uh, or I could uh, actually manage all the cables, uh, etc., etc., and then uh, do the front. I'm slightly tempted to do the front now because um, uh, I'm gonna leave for a few days and I won't be able to continue until I get back from work. Uh, so by that time everything would be solid, dry and rigid and ready to play with. Uh, and uh, I have this sensation that the cables inside might uh, push against the front uh, and uh, cause uh, front to pop out a little bit and I want to avoid that so I think I'm just gonna glue that in first. Uh, I'm not going to glue the top edge so I could pop the cover out and in again. So everything is holding up together for the first time and I don't have to be afraid that, um, you know, bits are gonna fall apart, which is brilliant because that's the first time I didn't use any tape at, at such. So the, I wipe, uh, wiped off the excess of glue on the edges, the top comes out and I'm obviously gonna give it 24 hours for uh, everything to dry, dry up and set properly, but it's already quite sturdy, so you can see. Now, a few things that you're gonna laugh at me and uh, first of all, I'm missing one, one uh, blue enclosure in here. And that's totally my fault. I went to coffee place. I was still designing this part in between the work because I didn't want to leave it hang hanging for too long. And I left uh, enclosure uh, in the coffee place. I've called since, but they're unable to find it. Um, luckily for me, I didn't have a drive in there, so I didn't lose any data, but that's embarrassing. Uh, uh, also, I'm missing one of these cables as well because it went, went with the enclosure when I was doing my paper model. So I'll be ordering those again from China, and, uh, but that's okay because I can still power everything up. It's just not going to have entire functionality from the start on my end uh, and I'll just add the drives later. But it's still going to have a one disk for write and a one disk for um, Plex. So yeah. Uh, and anything else? I guess I guess not. Uh, in the last part, uh, I promise that's going to be the last part. Next one's going to be the last part. We're just going to uh, plug it in, um, get some power in for format the SD card, put some operating system on it, and uh, off we go. So see you then. Bye.